Hello everybody, my name is Aaron, aka Pulling Teeth. Welcome back to 2K22's My Rise Men's Story. I'm literally recording this straight after the last one, and Road Dog is sat here telling us that we now need to imagine beating two legends in a handicap match, so let's do it. I caught an intro in 20 seconds. Do we get to pick these? Because we got to pick between legends before. We get to pick between Hogan, Hart, and Macho. No? Don't tell me we're going to have to just face Hogan and Hart, or the other two. Or is it going to give us an option here of, like, tag teams? Tag team legends. Is there a tag team legends that we could do that surely are in this game? Give us Hall and Nash, for example. I don't say the Hardy Boys, but Matt's not in this, is he? He was well AEW by this point. Well, we're just randomly imagining this on Raw. Okay. Oh, this is this our entrance video? It's a generic entrance video, but I like it. The following contest is a handicap match. All right. Who am I having to face? We have no music, so I can't tell yet. Oh God. <laughs> Oh dear. Don't tell me it's Rock and Austin. Don't tell me it's Rock and Austin. It's gonna be Rock and Austin, isn't it? Oh lord. Oh god. And his partner. It's Rock and Austin. <laughs> oh, just shoot me now. Oh, Steve's entrance already looks better. Oh dear. Oh dearie dearie dearie. That looks so cool though with the big video on the back. Oh boy. I'm about to get my ass kicked aren't I? I like how I had a cho- oh god. Dude. In the way. I like how I had the choice before, but we fight between one of three superstars, and then they're like, okay, now you have a handicap match against two of the biggest of all time. Enjoy. Oh dear. I kind of just wanted to see Austin's entrance, I'm not going to lie. Alright. On my own. Oh dear. Hi, Dwayne. Oh, but headbutts. Headbutts to the rock. Did Austin get in the ring already? Was Austin worried? Austin might be worried. They're, they're out of practice. Oh, that didn't work. No. Ow. Knees. Oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. Nice Dwayne DDT. And here comes Steve. I forget how quick that I am actually. To say I've just started. Get him. Oh of course you'd reverse this wouldn't you? Classic Austin. I'll take that. I'll take it Steve. I will take it. Saito. On that neck. On that stack of dimes you call a neck. And... Hey Dwayne, you might want to move. <laughs> or down. I'm just going to awkwardly scrape along your leg there. Oh, I went for the big boy, didn't land it. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. What the hell is Steve doing? Okay. Just launching me to the ground. Eh. Nice! Boom! I like the lariat. Why does everybody reverse that? Nice! Take him out! Get back up! Get back up! Get back up! Get back up! And another big super kick. 
Let's go for another one. Why not? Oh, geez. This is somehow working out for me, and I don't get how. All right. All right. Go on, Dwayne. Up to your feet. Up to your feet. Done. Bang. Now it let me actually do the dive this time. It's still not going to let me. Why is it not letting me do the dive? What if I get up top now? Still not going to let me. This is really awkward. Ow, my ass. Understandable that you want to run. But Steve gets trapped into a sling blade. Sling blades for days. All of the sling blades. It does over. Knee. <laughs> Alright, that worked. And again, that worked. Not entirely what I intended. Ow. The misdirection kick is cool. I like it. Oh, what, this is when did Austin do a soul bot DNA kick? Alright. Alright, Dwayne. Boom! Now won't let me. Still won't let me. But Cannonball! Actually, kind of hit him. Kind of. Yeah. Okay. Another signature. Another running knee. Out. Bang. And he's dead close to the center this time. So surely. Surely. Yes. Bang. Bye bye, Steve. Bye bye, Steve. Bye bye, Steve. Good lord. Oh, pin the rock, pin the rock, pin the rock. And Steve's up already. Because of course he is. Why wouldn't he be? Gavin Gary. Great. I'm so just outnumbered here. Yeah. No, put me down. He's got no snake eyes. I'm bleeding in so many of my matches at the minute. Hey, Dwayne. How do you like that neck of yours? I know Steve's not a fan of his. Let's see if you're a fan of your own. Bang! Clearly not, because you did not protect it. God damn it, Steve. There we go. Pinning the rock, he might have recovered in enough time here, but... He didn't! He didn't recover in enough time. I thought he had. Apparently not. Vertebraker does it once again. Verta breaking Dwayne. <laughs> that might have to be the name of the episode. Verta breaking Dwayne. Dwayne, easy for me to say. It might be the name of the episode. It might not be. Who knows? I haven't decided yet because I've recorded all of these episodes back to back to back. Like all the episodes of My Rise on the first day that this game has come out, I've recorded them back to back to back to back. So I don't know when they're all coming out. So I had a schedule before where I was doing it like almost every other day, but now this is out and I've got more, it's probably going to happen way more than that. Ooh, more notifications. Hey, The Rock, Steve Austin, I'm pretty sure I could take you both. <laughs> nope. Guys. Guys. Now I'm going to take me up on that. <laughs> Road dog. Uh, lovely. I don't care about Austin Theory. Like, at all. Lucky break, mate. Well thought. Televised or not, still counts as an NXT debut in my book. I remember my own. Lost a tough one. So, you have one more win in the win column than I did. Cool, Danny Birch has been cool about this. Do we have anybody else? No, we don't. Alright. Road dog. Alright, let's talk to the asshole. 
I'll talk to Road Dog after. I was in a bit of a philosophical mood last night, and I started to wonder. If you never have a chance to use your finishing move, is it still a finisher? Or is it just a regular old move? Uh, what's your point? What are you getting at? I guess I was thinking about how dominating my finisher is going to be in the WWE, but you guys are probably never even going to get to use yours, which is kind of sad. Total waste of some perfectly good finishing moves. Guarantee I could hit my finisher on you. I already have. I don't think you have to worry about that since I guarantee I could hit my finisher on you today. Really? Okay, well, how about we have a little fatal four-way finisher match? First one to hit theirs wins. Deal. Deal. I look forward to showing you that my finishing move is not going to go to waste. See, vertebraker. Or I could do the swanton. Or the Adam bomb. So I have choices here. I could go off the top or I could just get you straight up. I don't even know what your finisher is. Dude's been a prick though, so I'm going to aim to hit on him. Is he going to have like a redemption arc in this story where he ends up being good later on? I guess time will tell. Won't tell us, but it'll tell. All right, it's as class of now. <laughs> Ruby just doing a whippersnapper. Do Hector throwing us around. Hector was a cool dude. We've had very little interaction with him, but he's been all right so far. Nice, let's do rock bottom. <laughs> so the guys who were the ones who decided to have this chat. God, God, Ruby. Are the ones who were just doing nothing. Yeet. I think I'm in the lead so far for momentum. He went for that springboard forearm again. That he really likes. Nice super kick. Everybody gets out of this and again gets out of it. Nice with the forearm. Get up. Do it, just explode it. Nice, this is working somehow. Somehow, some way, this is actually working. No, get down, get down, get get down, get down, get down, get down. Here we go, here we go. It's not the finish, but it's the setup. Good night. Boom. You know what? I want to vertebrate you. Let's ver. Oh, we caught it! He actually caught the finish. I should have guessed that he would. I should have guessed. Now I'm just starting at the bottom again. Ah, uh, he's doing that piece of shit thing. Oh, yep. He's an asshole. Throw and throw. But drop kicks. Big boy sentons. Top rope double stumps. Oh, I went for another big boy senton. Didn't land. Super kicks. Once again. For days. I'm catching up on the momentum thing already. Snap. Let's just take you out this time, buddy, because I landed it. Landed it for everyone else. Unless Hector's got a really quick one. But good night. Boom. Ring the bell. What were you saying about can't hit a finisher before? You might have counted it first time, buddy, but not second.
Better broke you. Better breaking Dwayne. Even though you're not Dwayne. Can't remember what his real name is. I just remember Pentagon. Oh, not Pentagon. Paragon. <laughs> Pentagon. Oh, is that it? Oh, we got more new notifications apparently. Oh, but maybe we don't. Oh, we are. Hey, uh, you finish this no sweet tune music, but it's not too shabby. I do the sweet tune music. Hey, been hearing good things about your progress, and I have some potential big news. Last time you said it was big news, it turned out we were going to get air fresheners in a locker room. What's bigger than that? Uh, the mountain rain scent was a game changer. Anyway, it is big. I heard the GMs might be making their way down there soon to evaluate your training. Okay, you're right, that is big. Yep. If you think you're ready, I can pull some strings and make it happen. Or, if you think you need more training time, I can stall. No, you know what? I'm ready. Send me in. Send me in, coach. I'm ready for the show. I'm ready to make the leap. Good. I think you're ready too. Oh, and do me a favor. When Sean and Road Dog tell you about it, act surprised. <laughs> PC Showcase. Let's go. I've had a dark match on NXT. I've wrestled on the indies. I've wrestled legends in my brain. I'm ready. I think I'm ready. Hit me with whatever you've got for this showcase. So the GMs are going to be watching. Hey, we have some good news. You're not going to have to deal with us much longer. Well, Ooh. maybe if everything works out. What do you mean? Triple H feels like he's seen enough from you and the rest of the class. So it's time for an official evaluation. Okay. PC showcase you mentioned back on my first day? Exactly. All of the GMs will be here to see you guys in action. If you impress any of them enough, you might receive a contract offer. Nice. Thanks for helping me. Thanks for helping me get to this point. I won't let you down. You put in the hard work and earned this opportunity. Now it's time to deliver and reap the benefits. I'll be ready. We should also mention that each GM is going to be accompanied by a superstar from their brand to help evaluate you guys. And okay. Evaluate, you mean you're going to face one of the visiting superstars. We already know how you do against the other guys here. So we wanted to give you a new challenge. That, that all makes sounds sense. good to me. So who will I face? Well, the options are Oni Lorcan from NXT, Shinsuke Nakamura from SmackDown, or the toughest challenge out of the three, Drew McIntyre from Raw. Keep in mind, there's no wrong choice. But being a tougher opponent would be more impressive to the GMs, and potentially open more doors. But if you lost, the risk might not be worth it. So, now that you've had 10 seconds to consider this life-altering decision, <laughs> what's it gonna be? Okay, so it's gonna be the hardest challenge. Just give I'm me Drew. really impress the GMs. <laughs> Give me Drew You're Mac telling me the artist. I, I mean, right. Nakamura's... We'll make it happen. We, yeah. Good luck, kid. Actually, Wait. It's WWE we're Nakamura, isn't it? Part. So maybe not. There's a little surprise waiting in your locker. Oh. You mean his custom gear we made for him. Well, now that the cat's out of the bag, remember your first day when you designed your wrestling attire? Well, we figured it might help your chances if the GM's... Oh, that's why. ...in WWE. That's why I've not had gear. With your plain old it's not technically been made. Uh, no. I think I'm gonna go with my custom look. Thanks, guys. That makes sense. I've been complaining this entire time, going, we've not been wrestling our actual gear until it was in our head. It's because we've not had the actual gear yet. Now it's been made. Sean and Road Dog helped. Shockingly. Alright. Go on here on social medias. No, we do not. Can we upgrade? We can. We have 13 points, so we could. Try upgrade. Let's upgrade grapple a little. Yeah, that'll work. Nice. Old Spice. <laughs> what? 
Let's do it. You gonna talk crap, aren't Just you? Just a heads up. I wouldn't get all worked up about this PC showcase since the GMs are really only coming to scout me. No, of course they are. That's not what I've heard. Who are you gonna face anyway? Bet you're facing Oni, who's gonna be the lowest of the one, isn't he? Taking on the mascot. I'll dominate him. Show the GMs what they've been missing out on. So you're not actually wrestling one of the superstars? Wait. So you're not even facing one of the visiting superstars? <laughs> Sounds like someone is scared to lose in front of the GMs. <laughs> it's called being smart and putting myself in the best position to succeed. Maybe you should try it sometime. But good luck getting a contract with whatever half-baked decision you made. <laughs> what, fighting Drew? I'm pulling for Ribby. Ribby's gonna beat you. Rib boy, a rib man. You better beat him. You better. I am so jacked for this PC showcase. I had a dream last night that I beat Paragon and was signed by Mandy Rose to Raw. Then the dream got crazy. Uh, but we don't need to get into that. <laughs> I'm not gonna ask. Wait, why is Mandy Rose running Raw? You beating Paragon and getting signed to Raw wasn't the crazy part. Oh, no way, man. I can do this. I step up my game when the pressure's on. And besides, all I need is one shot. Yeah. Yeah, fighting two, ha two hands, fighting chance. Well, I admire your confidence. And I hope it works out that way. Maybe we'll end up on the same show. <laughs> That'd be sweet. Could even ride together, live together, work out together, eat together. I mean, I'm game. I know. We could do a lot of things together. Tag team right, champs. Well, good luck in your match. I'm gonna go buy a new suit to impress the GMs, specifically Mandy Rose. If our real life connection is anything like it was in my dream, there's gonna be fireworks when we meet. Uh, not literally like pyro or anything. I mean like the romantic kind. Yeah, I gathered. Yeah, I get it, Chase. Good luck with all that. <laughs> good luck. Good good luck, dude. <laughs> it was just like, yeah, cheers. Yeah, thanks. Good luck. Okay, so I have to try and face Drew McIntyre. I think I can do it. I think I can do it. So who's... You've been accompanied by, because GM of NXT be Regal, so he'll be with Oni. Shinsuke Nakamura was SmackDown. Maybe Adam Pearce or Sonya Deville, one or the other. So I'm guessing Mandy will be Raw rather than Stephanie. Yep, Mandy. Okie doke. Oh god, that didn't start well. Jesus! <laughs> Get off me. Nope. Okay, this is going pretty poorly so far. Drew maybe is the hardest test yet. He is whooping my ass. Oh, big shotgun drop kick. Okay. Tucking down. It's a good start. Wait, she's actually cheering for me. Mandy's cheering for me. That move never works. Aha! <laughs> He's got one back on you. Come on. Come on, Drew. Oh, God! I don't know what happened there. I didn't even try and do a move. Ow. Head apparently not needed. And, uh, okay, now the timing's different on the reversals for those. Wait, Mandy's helping? Oh, that didn't quite work out how I wanted it to. I am getting destroyed. <laughs> Boom! So won't work. I need to start flying. 
rock splash. Actually landed that. Good God. Go on, Drew. Go on, Drew. Go on, Drew. Go on, come on, come on. Get up. Popping a destroyer, Drew. Popping a de we're, we're not popping a destroyer, Drew. Why can I not reach you? Drew, come here. Drew, come a bit closer. Duh, that did not work out how I wanted it to. Okay, shouts out Seamus. Who's in my... Who's it? Who? Is that Adam Pearson who? Is that Regal? Adam Pearson and Regal are over there in the corner of Drew. Nope. Roll up on the floor. What the hell? <laughs> Regal and Pierce, what the... <laughs> are you guys getting in the ring? Alright, cannonball! <laughs> Did Mandy just... <laughs> I don't know what's going on. The GMs have lost their goddamn minds. Super kick. Okay, Drew. Drew's gonna get kneed in the face. Drew's gonna get kneed in the face. Done. Bang. Landed it. Up top ski. Up top ski. Going down. That's my dog's opinion on the matter. Come on, have I got it? One. Two. Oh, first person to kick out of the atom bomb. Of course it would be Drew. Why wouldn't it be? Oh, couch it. Nice. Nice, 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 nice. Over here, over here, over here, over here, over here. Get up, get up, get up, get up. Get up. We won a match with this. God damn it, why is this not working for me? Now it's worked. Pop a destroyer. Boop. Bang. Take him out. Pin him. It's like a finisher that's not a finisher for me. And got it. Circus Destroyer wins. It's my shout out secret finish. That's not a finishing move technically in the game. But it's put more people away. Circus Destroyer strikes again. Out like a light, Drew. God damn. Regal! Well, you start your WWE career. Congratulations on your successful PC showcase. Multiple GNs were impressed by your performance and will probably offer you a contract to sign with their brand. Be sure to talk to as many GMs as you can to weigh up your options before you make the important decision. Well, Regal, Adam Pierce, and Mandy Rose all want to offer me a deal. But, folks, we're going to decide where we go at the next episode so thank you everybody so much for joining me in this one it's been a genuine pleasure as per usual like comment subscribe you all know the drill the fun stuff and we'll see you in the next one bye